Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 108 of One Ocean Rock Let's Play. And today we're going to go over how I automated the vacuum tube. So let's let's go see. Um, we got over here. I, I need to rename this. Um, I named it Industrial. I should have named it Immersive. Uh, so let's do this real quick. Delete and then check. All right, now it's good. It's good. Okay, so over here uh, we have these two ads. <laughs> um, this one is making wire, copper wire. It's a metal press. Um, I really like these multi-block structures. I love it that you can see them doing their stuff. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. And over here is the automated engineer's workbench. Um, I don't know why this isn't working. Stone, copper wire, glass. What are you missing? Nickel plate. Hi there. It's currently 3 a.m. with a current temperature of 52 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, sorry about that. Let's get the nickel plate in there. There we go. Sometimes it does that. Uh, no. Am I picking up stuff? Okay. That's what I don't like about this is that I'm picking stuff up. Um, I don't know if that will go into a chest directly. <sighs> yeah, see, I, don't, I just don't like it that it's going into my pockets. Uh, but it does look super cool. It kind of reminds me of um, pneumatic craft <laughs> back in the day, you know, with all the cool automation of making circuit boards and stuff. Um, it really has that kind of feel, which I like. Uh, so. Um, I did have to look at the book. If we look over here, I had to turn the Acacia Tome into Immersive Engineering Manual. Um, and it's under Heavy Machinery, the automated workbench. And this tells you what blocks you need and how to place them out. And um, it also tells you to smack it with the hammer on, um, I guess these wooden slabs is what you would, uh, would be this part right here. That's where you have to hit it with the hammer to turn it into the multi-block structure. Um, but I'm curious, because this just worked, um, I'm curious, do, will this crafter go directly into this because this seems to be a um, an inventory and it doesn't matter if um, if there's more ingredients than the actual recipe like if there's stacks and stacks of stuff it isn't going to mess it up so that's good to know um, but with the hopper, it gives it the opportunity to leave an item out until, um, you know, everything fills up. 
Uh, so it would be really good to um, to see if that would be directly into it. So I'm going to try it. Um, let me get you out. I'm going to try that. Um, boop. Um, it also tells you that these two spots with the um, blue dots on it, that that's where the um, input is. Um, the top right here is where the power comes in. I tried to put just this power point directly on there, but it wouldn't work. I had to put a piece of cable in there. Uh, to get it to work. So this is the input and this is the redstone control. So I guess you could um, turn it off and on with redstone, which uh, would be cool. So you get the little doodad out. It would probably be easier to test this with um, with the, the wire one. Okay, now put you back in. Uh, the thing is, this has a bunch of stuff. Let's see if we can take um, some of this out. let those um, get to making and then we could um, see about trying this again. I guess I could take it all out. Let's just take it all out. Boop. Okay. Um, now let's see, oh, I just sort some wire. Um, let's put all the stuff back in. Um, now this, uh, I have this automatically set up to make 1500. Uh, let's make sure that that is not Okay, we, go. we only have 500, so it should start making them. Let's go check. See if it's uh, caught up. Let's make, oh, it made the wire and it went into my inventory. But I put it back. So it's probably making for that, or waiting for that to come back in. So yeah, I was so busy with making that that I didn't even make any seeds. <laughs> um, so, okay, now it's going. Okay, so let's go back out there and see, see if it went in. think so. So it looks like we may have to have oh, that's just such a pain. Um, oh man. Okay. So it does not appear to be working like this. All right, um, just put it back, I guess. Okay, and the crafter. Boop. There. And then, oh, 
wire and a boot. I wonder if I should, if I have to go check that again. Just gonna make sure I cancel that. Okay. It it does look like it's going. Okay. Let's go back out there. See, this is what I mean. It just puts all of one thing in. Instead of putting one of everything. Um, see if I had. If I had the like if this would just come out of the system directly, I could speed it up uh, or control it in some way, but luckily it doesn't send um, like a whole bunch all at once. It does send over a stack. Just send over a stack. But it doesn't look even. Well, there. Maybe that's about right, I guess. There we go. Yeah, it's it sends maybe a stack and a half. I don't know what number or why it's sending that much but since it's sending multiple stacks at a time um it's not getting all of the uh pieces in at once so it can start crafting So since this is limited uh, by the speed of the hopper, um, I don't think I need to put upgrades in this. Maybe if I did, uh, it would do it go better. I don't know. Let's try it. Uh, stack and some speed upgrades. Oh, that's right. It's a crafter. It doesn't get the stack upgrade. There we go. So, uh, I had problems getting this thing put together because it wasn't really clear in the picture, like, what it takes. I mean, if you look, let it finish. Oh, when you click on that, it goes to that. Uh, but you can't really tell what the block is. Um, yeah, it doesn't say, but if you look, uh, it doesn't say what this block is. I thought it was the light, um, 
I thought it was this, the light engineering block, but it's not. It's the heavy one. It's the heavy engineering block. And if you don't put the heavy engineering block, it won't form. I thought there was something wrong with the piston because it says a high pressure piston, but I couldn't find any other piston to make. So it was definitely the block. Uh, but this is the same. You can put a hopper onto this side and a hopper coming off this side. Um, I'm curious if this works like uh, the sluices. If I put a chest directly onto it, will it, will it just go into that chest? Um, do I even need the hopper? If I put a chest right there. Um, let's see if we can make some wire. Craft 64. Uh, but the hopper's there. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, it is going into the chest. Look at that. Uh, that is pretty cool. That helps get rid of uh, the need for the hopper, and that will make it stop going into my inventory. Okay. Um, Alright, let's get this guy on here. Oh, that is super cool. Now it's going back into the system. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so now I can do the same thing over here. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh, I wonder if I lost all that stuff. Stop it. <laughs> um, dang it. This, this um, Ah, oh, did I lose my blue? No, I kicked my blueprint out. Oh, now it, it disconnected my power. Multi-block formed. Let's pull you out. Now when I put it on there, oh, you gotta select the vacuum tube. Okay. Now it should work. Now it should go. Oh, why are you not going? Oh, because of the power. Uh, I wonder if it will connect now that we have the blueprint in it. Oh, what is going on? It just worked like five minutes ago.
Hmm. Very, very interesting. What if I try a different mods power cable? No, that's not working either. What if I try... I don't think I have any other power cables. Mm, no, that's fluid. Oh, there is energy pipe there. Oh, it connected for just a second and then it disconnected. Why would it make it just stop working all of a sudden? Boop. Um. Okay, so let's take everything out. Break it again. Reform it, and maybe it will work. We won't put up the cable until we have the vacuum tube selected. Ah, oh, that is just crazy. <laughs> Okay, so don't hook up the power until after you have the, the engineer blueprint in and the recipe selected. Crazy, very, very finicky. Okay, there, now it's going. Uh, let's make sure it goes in to the chest, directly into the chest. I like it. Okay. Awesome. That's even better because now I don't have to worry about um, making it fly up with my magnet. So super cool because <laughs> uh, I like my magnet. I like leaving it on. Um, having a magnet is super cool and awesome. So we got all of that stuff taken care of. Oh, I forgot to put the hammer. Oh, we put the hammer down. Okay, so that's a vacuum tube. Um, I really wanted to get the metal press for the wire because you can make it without the metal press, um, but it uses wire cutters, and I didn't want another instance where it made 500 wire cutters and I didn't need them uh, so uh, yeah I decided to go with the metal press because plus it only takes one copper to make two wire here it takes one copper to make one wire and you have to put it into a plate first so oh no it's raining I don't think it's daytime either 
Okay, so we learned that you can't directly put into this, so you need the hopper. I wonder if, um, yeah. But you can feed directly into the chest, so that is good to know. That's definitely good to know. Okay, we finished all of those two dads. How are we looking on vacuum tubes now? 936, nice. Um, the thing is, I haven't set it up in, uh, in the singularity spot. Oh, that was not what I wanted. I want to go down here to the noisy place. So this should start um, sending in the vacuum tubes. There you go, 936. Uh, so now that should keep making it until we get four singularities. Uh, the auto crafting seems pretty sporadic, but it is going through a lot of auto crafting. lot because we have all of these things that but it's currently not making them because we already finished all of them um i want to what is the uh electrotein electrotein how are you doing buddy you only got three singularities and yet we have twenty eight thousand Electro team, so you got plenty to make this stuff. Why aren't you making it? Um, well, we still have saws, right? Yeah, we still got a bunch of saws. I wonder if that's the problem. It's not wanting to make it because it wants to make more saws. Uh, it's not using these. Um, Which recipe is that? Uh, where did I put that recipe? Not in there. I don't see it in there. What about you? Yes, okay, so which one of you takes this one? Okay, let's take this silicon. Silicon. Oop. Take the silicon. Just plain silicon. Okay. Yes, we want to do that, and it's not on exact mode. I don't know that it was on exact mode. Um, but this one isn't on exact mode, so it should use uh, the saws that are in there. Since we know, we know what it's doing. Okay. Um. Okay, how about 
do this at Okay, I don't even see it crafting pieces for it. I thought if that was the one spot it would get caught, it would be that one because of the saw. Um, it doesn't appear like it's working. What are you doing? It's, it is doing something though. I wonder if this put it in. I'm just going to cancel that. I'm surprised that hasn't gone up. get this taken care of, um, all we need to do is get the Wyvern Energy Core. Where is that one? I think I only had like one of those. Um, what happened to my Capacitato Singularities? I thought I had more than one. There, oh, and we do need to do the Supremium Coal, so we need, we need to, hold on, I need to, to check on this one, oops, no, Supremium Coal, Singularity, um, the Capacitato, uh, the Singularity, Singularity, Electrosilicon, and then... Is the wizard core singularity? Did I not ever? I guess, yeah, I never did actually make one. Wizard energy core. Okay, let's just do energy. It's already over there. It's there. So we can take you off. It's already over here. Wow, there are, <clears throat> there are quite a bit of things. I, I figured I would have gotten that fourth one by now. Is there something wrong with my matter condensers? It looks like they're all working. And, yeah, I never finished, uh, how do I get up? Oh, because the, <laughs> the, the elevators are camouflaged. Uh, I never did get the other half of this set up. Um, and I thought it was going pretty good, so I didn't bother with it. But we may need to fill that up. Uh, to help production. I don't know why not. Okay, so we did, uh, this was all the different blocks I had to make um, for the immersive engineering automation. Boop and boop. I still never got around to the sewer and the hydroponic beds. That's definitely something I want to look into, especially now that I fixed the uh, ether gas. Yeah, I, I like to check on it every once in a while to make sure it hasn't glitched out again and destroyed everything. Uh, but we're getting lots of ether gas, I guess. Some ether gas. Uh, I don't know. Do I need to put upgrades in the 
Would that help? Can I put upgrades in you? I can. Um, what kind of upgrades are there? Um, uh, I think they're called add-ons. Uh, this add-on. So we definitely want a speed. Oh, uh, it looks like we got a processing one. There we go. And an efficiency. Why not? Oh, it can't have a speed. It can't go in there. Sad face. So we'll get sufficiency and processing. I wonder, um, because that made my plastic almost triple. I wonder how much this gets. Oh, I didn't get to see it. It was too fast. It was too fast. Oh, yeah, it's too fast. I guess if I look at this, it's at 60. Much? Oh, it's still only 10 millibuckets. Wow, I figured uh, that might shoot it up to 20 or maybe even 30, but... Um, what if I got the, um, other guys over here, how if I give them, oh, they can take speed too, oh wow, look at him go. Now, is it, did it increase any? It did speed up quite a bit, it looks like. Um, so, yeah, let's put you, you, and you. Efficiency, processing, speed. Um, and I need two more, so might as well go ahead and get those. A boop and a boop. Awesome, okay. It's good that those, uh, you can just click in, shift click in there, and then it doesn't try to send the whole stack. Awesome. Okay. How's it looking now? Ooh, look at how fast it's going up. That is very good. It's a lot, a lot faster. Awesome. Okay. So I'm glad I did that. Uh, because I really need to get more redstone and I really need to get uh, more Ethereum, which is uh, pretty sad because I have so much going already, but I don't have the power pots. I need to get more power and I need to hook those back up and upgrade them, upgrade them because I can get the tier 4 power pots now because I have the chaos shards. Uh, but I was wanting to automate the dr draconic evolution crafting um, before I do that. I just, uh, I was trying it with um, the integrated dynamics mod, uh, but I wasn't having a lot of luck. Um, so yeah, I'll have to figure something else out for that. Anyway, um, I think I've gone on rambling enough. Uh, we got some more plans for the future. We got our vacuum tubes automated. Um, we still have tons to do, tons more seeds to make. Um, oh, 
oh my god, how am I going to make dragon egg seeds? Because you need, oh, it's a dragon scale. I got dragon scales. Oh, that's no problem. An insane essence. Wow. Okay. Also, oh, before we go, let's go ahead and turn in some of these quest rewards that we got for immersive engineering. Uh, we did uh, the engineer's hammer and the cold coke. Uh, and the garden cloche we got from quest rewards, but we did the metal press. And here it tells you, this is how I found out that it was the heavy engineering block because it tells you in this section and it, that it's just a regular piston. Uh, so, yeah, that was pretty cool. We got a pink laser lens. Uh-oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, we also got the conveyor belt, singularity tank, and the automated engineer's workbench. Auxiliary processing sieve. Huzzah, look at all this cool stuff. A silo. 24 chests worth of storage. That sounds pretty cool. And a fluid tank. <laughs> uh, they look pretty cool. Treated wood, iron sheet metal. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at it completely silo. It can store, it's only 41,000, uh, but it looks pretty cool. It looks cool. So anyway, um, I hope everyone had a good holiday season and um, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.